tense right now because of what's happening and what because of what happened. But prior to this situation that happened at the school, obviously we had the incident that happened where the motherfucker went into the fucking grocery store. And then now that was an 18-year-old shooter as well. Now we have another 18-year-old shooter. Obviously, pretty sure everyone knows by now, but for those who don't know, Salvador Ramos, yeah. identified as the gunman who stormed robbed elementary on that Tuesday with an assault rifle, tactical vest, barricaded himself in classrooms with um, children, next door to the children, children, opened fire, authority said, um, responding officers eventually entered the room and border patrol officer fatally shot him. Um, but this man killed 19 kids and two teachers at this Texas elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. Um, his grandmother just survived, right? She's like... Oh, they're saying that? Because she was hospitalized after, right? And they're saying now that she's well, there, surviving? There's, there's a lot of shit coming out right now when it comes down to that case. That's crazy. No, I know that, but specifically, so sh you're saying that that's like new yeah, I think that with the grandmother? That happened, I think that happened today. Okay, because um, I was going to say like the grandmother that he shot her beforehand... But yeah. I thought she he killed her, but I guess she was hospitalized. That's enough. what they were saying. Yeah, she was hospitalized, yeah. and they're trying to cover shit up. Seems like, Bro, seems like especially the local survive. police. There's a lot of shady shit that they're covering up when it comes down to this case. Yeah, I mean, it's sad. There's the simple fact that, for example, he fucking was 18 years old on his birthday, where he literally turned 18. A week prior, he went and bought two assault rifles and a bunch of ammo, scores of ammo. They're saying. So the simple fact that I think, in my opinion, when he came to even make this possible like this this kid was able to do this so easily especially in texas because for those who don't know rhode island is very uh simple to get a gun especially if you just want to go to the process of getting it now if you want to legally carry it everywhere I, I in texas you can it's texas a bigger open carry no no yeah definitely is, in texas right? is different yeah. but for rhode Actually, island um not, not an ar but still. yeah but in rhode island if you want to sure. carry it everywhere you gotta go through the train it's like a it's like a more rigorous situation but if you want to just get your blue card as they call it uh it's a simple multiple choice test. You fail it one time, you can go back and do it again. And if you fail it the first time, you're, you're not going to fail it the second time because you're already going to know it. It's pretty simple. Um, I went through the whole process, and I eventually want to do some sort of actual content, like a video of like how to get a gun in Rhode Island on some neutral shit where it's like it shows you, for those who want to know, and at the same time it shows you the hypocrisy <laughs> of like how simple this shit is and why it should be more rigorous because we're living in a country right now where you can get a gun at an easier you can get a degree. <laughs> yeah, at an easier and faster yeah. rate than you can buy a fucking bottle of liquor, um, that you can fucking get a driver's license and that you can like so many things in this country, like so more simpler than going to get a gun. And especially a lot of states, you know, because there might be some states that are more stricter, but at the end of the day, majority is like you can get a gun and that's illegally if we're talking about legally because obviously legally you can do your thing however yeah. you want to do it but legally to get a gun there needs to be more background checks more things no one's saying like oh ban all guns some people might feel that way i'm not specifically saying that i think the energy right now in general everywhere people feel like both sides politically because this has unfortunately become a political situation need to come to a uh, actual meeting a middle ground where it's like we need to create a more rigorous situation where not anyone like this 18 year old and the previous 18 year old can get firearms let alone hold tactical gear as if they're going into a fucking war yeah. and actually end up killing all these fucking people and all these, all these kids you know and it's very scary like god forbid especially to me now as a father i was like damn all these kids just like losing their lives and god forbid that happens to me it's like how am i going to react and then you saw how some one of them reacted like one of the parents uh, I think the partner, one of the teachers, uh, had a heart attack because he was so sad. Like he wasn't sleeping. He had a heart attack. The 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 wife, the husband of the teacher. The husband of the teacher yeah, had yeah. a heart attack. He died of a of, of a broken heart. Like he was sad. Yeah, it, yeah. man. And it's like you can't even like, hmm. you can't even really make that. That shit is so fucking like, it's crazy. And obviously they raised a lot of money. God bless. A lot of money got raised. The GoFundMe, like a, a lot of people went crazy with that blowing it up god bless them you know i hope they get a lot of a lot of you know financial those because it's four kids they left behind they were together for 25 years they left four kids now with no parents mm. and you know it, it just sucks all the way around and it's because this fucking kid salvador ramos decided to do this and it wasn't even his school because at first you hear this and it's like oh people go and shoot up their school that they maybe got bullied at we see it all the time you know this is completely just. This is a completely yeah. like random school that he just picked, and like he yeah. wanted to feel more superior than and he's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck, fucking kill these kids. Elementary school. Elementary kids. Like, 
that's baby still pretty much say they they don't know what Bro, they on. can't get worse than that their, their biggest crazy. their biggest sin has probably been like stealing candy if like, they, very yeah. innocent souls that have yeah, nothing, on, you know, bro. done nothing, might not even swore yet. Like they haven't, they haven't, they don't know what potential is. Like they're just, they're just here on earth having it's fun. Just existing. Just yeah, existing. Yeah. And then this man just removed their existence completely. And it's fucking devastating. You it's it's fucking devastating. More sick, bro. The fact that this motherfucker's out there idolizing his shit and trying to start like cults and shit. The yeah. one that's always going to happen because hey, that's always happened. You can see that. The one who bro, did, uh, sick, bro. The one who did the market, the marketplace um, shooting, he pleaded not guilty. Like that's oh, yeah, how that. that's how fucking sick like these dudes are. Like he he really yeah, he thinks like he's that. justified in like his situation and that's like fucking like how know, the fuck bro. you think you gonna win that, bro? Yeah, bro, what you live stream? And he survived. Ask me that thing. question one more time. Bro. <laughs> Ask me that question one more time, please. <laughs> no, that, that, that would never happen, bro. especially because like, I think he killed. On, it's not gonna happen, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Can we stop acting as if it might happen? Better, like, worser people haven't gotten away. No, that's true. But I think with this situation, more I, I would say this one, because he killed a, a cop. I don't, like, I don't he, trust it until I see it. Yeah, but I think because he killed a I cop inside. That. I think it was like a either off duty or retired cop. He's retired, he was off duty. Retired. But when you uh, kill, yeah. Duty? But when you kill a retired. cop, it's like that's when they care. Sure. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's when they become like even more biasy. Like yeah. oh wait, it's one of ours. Unfortunately, it takes that. Or you kill a dog. Like, it's like weird things with this fucking country. Like, you got to, like, either do one of the, these things for it to actually be seen yeah. as the obvious, that it, we see it as, as actual there civilians. Are, there are worse things that people get a slap on the wrist for. Yeah. But it's, it's, fucking, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, we really, I think it was the day after we left here. The morning after we left here and that fucking news broke. I was like, God damn. Like, and it, at first it was 14 and the number rose to 19 kids. And... It was one teacher, and I was two teachers, and it's like, man. Uh, every day it got worse because then the husband crazy. died on the like the third day, yeah, or something like that, and then it just the numbers the numbers fluctuated as like the, the within like three days <laughs> they fluctuated. It went from like we think it's twelve, and it was like fourteen. You, there's some, there's you know? some. I've seen some things right now, man, that they keep coming up when it comes to stories about this shit, like about cops not doing shit for like a good amount of time. Parents actually fucking saying fuck the cops, jumping over fences yeah. to go get their kids and shit like that. Oh yeah, I heard parents, that. Parents, bro, unarmed and shit like that, going inside to yeah. save their kids, and the fucking cops are just posted up outside. Yeah, yeah. I heard there was armed parents, like literally, because in Texas, there obviously, everyone parents. has um, yeah, you know, firearms. Like it's so easy to get. A lot of people that out there have it, you know, and it's like the irony Come in on, that bro, as well like, because there's parents there ready to go in, but then these cops, you know, they were hesitant to go in. It's like Obviously, to us, it's like a no-brainer. Like, bro, like, if you are a cop, this elementary school, you're here and there's a shooting, obviously, barge the fuck in and, like, barge you do your job, in, right? Bro, like. But then there's reports now that there was a lot of misinformation that what they gave in the first press conference, a lot of it has now been proven to be misinformation, incorrect, specifically the things that came out of the governor's mouth. And the governor himself, fucking Abbott, is looking crazy, saying a lot of wild shit, just... Seeming like he's lacking some sort of remorse. I don't know what's going on with the uh, politicians of Texas, but there needs to be fucking change. Ted Cruz as well. Like, everyone over there in Texas is just, like, off the hinges. And, like, they've always kind of been, like, you see sights of it, but now it's almost like they're showing the true colors. Because he literally got quoted saying, um, specifically, which fucking baffled me, he was like, to just, I guess, calm people down. It was like, oh, it could have been worse. Like, we have yeah, to, it could have been crazy. worse, guys. Like, we, oh, it's like, bro, how, what are you saying? How worse is this? And it's like, obviously he could that kid could have killed everyone on earth. Like if you want to say that's, that's worse, but it's like, what are you? Why like that probably, now? Man. What are, are you we, saying? Are we weighing, are we weighing evil yeah, right like, now, bro? Yeah. Like, are, like are we measuring evil? evil? Like what are we? Gonna, he he wasn't Hitler, guys. The fuck? What are you saying? Like what are we comparing? Like there's, obviously there's like, like what is this? Like just that's not what you say, especially if you're the governor. People are looking at you for some sort of like guidance and some sort of answers and you give them that it's like some bullshit. bro we, we could be better in your position than you it's like what's going on but time would tell what's gonna happen there i think change for some reason we saw the steve kerr you guys saw the steve kerr uh speech the nba coach the yeah. words yeah yeah absolutely. and a lot of similar situations a lot of people are speaking out i hope and pray i feel like there's gonna be something that's gonna happen even though we've been through this already and nothing's happened they gonna love me for my ambition